Hi guys, today there was a sale at my local Dwayne Reed, which is like a Walgreens in New York, and I picked up a few things, which means we're doing a haul video! I didn't get too many things, but I did want to share some things with you, including one special tip and trick for when you're at the drugstore for an amazing product that maybe you are not checking out because you don't know what it is. So stay tuned until the end. But first, I got a bunch of Jordana liners. We know I love Jordana. It's not a secret. I love it. Um, I have yet to find a Jordana product that I do not like. I got the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in eternal white. This is very similar to NYX Milk. I use this as an eyeshadow base. It really makes colors pop when you put white on your lid first. It's super creamy. I really like this product. I have already used it in the shade Continuous Almond, which is more like soft ochre paint pot from MAC. It's like a fleshy color. I also got their 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencils. These actually perform less like liquid eyeliner and more like gel liner in pencil form, which is amazing. They're super creamy, super pigmented, especially the black. The black is like one of the most pigmented pencil liners I've ever seen. They're great for in the waterline and they last forever. They really do last 12 hours and I love them. I also got a Easy Liner retractable pencil for lips. I used this product in my Kylie Jenner tutorial. I used that in the shade Tawny. This shade is Rock and Rose and it's like a muted pinky brown. I'm wearing it right now. It's almost the exact shade of my lipstick. Um, I got it to go with my other product that I got, which is the Lasting Finish by Kate, which is by Kate Moss Rimmel Lipstick. This is in the shade 14. It's supposed to be kind of like a dupe for Max Velvet Teddy, although I think on it looks more dark. I'm wearing it right now so you can see how it looks. Uh, it's very creamy, super nice. Rimmel makes really nice lipsticks. Uh, Rimmel and Maybelline are my favorite drugstore brands for lipstick. I am of the ilk that does not think that you should spend $30 to $40 on a YSL lip product. I get it. They're awesome. They're creamy. Whatever. But at the end of the day, you're going to be drinking something. You're going to be eating something and it's going to rub off. There are very few products out there that, I, that don't rub off. Some of my favorite products that are for lips are from the drugstore and they're affordable. And even in my mind, for the drugstore, this is like $8. I thought that was expensive for the drugstore because <laughs> this one wasn't on sale. But I had to have it and it's really cute packaging. It has a little cake autograph on it. Love it. So, one halt. I got this Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain in Nude Cheek by Jordana. Guys, I think, I think we might have ended the love affair because I just swatched this and it's barely pigmented. I'll show you the swatch. It's this color right here. Um, I will show you in a close-up swatch right now. I can't decide on this. It does say it's a moisturizing balm stain. So if it's like a lip balm, it's not going to be that pigmented. But if it's a stain, then it is. So this product can't really decide what it wants to be. Because I got this on sale and because it was $149, I think, I might just keep it. It's a really pretty nude with slight hint of sparkles, but what I don't like is when something has like shimmery glitter in it and then the color wears off, but the glitter doesn't. So it just looks like you have glitter all over your lips. So I'm going to have to try this and get back to you. Thank goodness it's only, you know, 149. It feels kind of tacky when I touch the swatch. So I'm not sure if it's going to be really like balmy and like smooth. Because Walgreens owns Dwayne Reed in New York, check out your Walgreens this week if you can to get these Jordana sales because the prices are ridiculous and these liners are definitely worth the money. My very last thing, I have a tip and trick for you. I got this amazing eyeshadow palette. It looks like it's made by Wet n Wild, doesn't it? If you've used a Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, you know most of them, I can't say all of them, but most of them are amazing and they're dirt cheap. They're extremely pigmented, they're not too powdery, they blend really well, they're great. The most popular palette of this 
is called Comfort Zone. It's amazing. Now if you're wondering why you haven't been able to find this by Wet n Wild, it's because it's not made by Wet n Wild. Technically, it is made by Wet n Wild because Wet n Wild owns the company that makes this product which is called Black Radiance. This is in a separate section from Wet n Wild, but it is made by Wet n Wild. It is marketed for women with darker skin and so that they can find shades that work for them all in one area. Now you might think, oh, I'm fair, none of those shades over there are going to be right for me. Go over there because they have all these other palettes made by Wet n Wild that are under the Black Radiance label. They perform exactly the same. They're incredibly pigmented. I'm going to swatch them for you right now. The only thing I would say is that sometimes it's hard to open this palette. <laughs> but these shadows are insane in the membrane. I mean, hello, look at these shadows. That's pigmentation. I almost cursed. Those are beautiful. I already have a bunch of swatches on my hand, but I'll put them on my inside. Look at how these perform. I mean, that's pretty amazing. That's one swipe, no primer, nothing. That's amazing. These are beautiful for fall. I'm wearing them right now on my lid. I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial on this look coming out very soon if you are interested. It's 100% from the drugstore because I think makeup shouldn't be exclusive. I think it's just for everyone and it's fun and you can get away with looking amazing just buying drugstore products. So that's my tip for today is if you see the Black Radiance brand, just know it's wet and wild. If you love their matte lipsticks like I do because they are amazingly pigmented and they last forever, Black Radiance has their own. The, the tips look exactly the same so it's like that flat circular edge but the tube looks a little bit different, but no, it's the exact same thing and they have more colors than just the Wet n Wild line. So this is my secret. Go for it if you have it in your drugstore. Check at Walgreens because my Walgreens had it. And good luck to you. Check back with me next time for more hauls, makeup tutorials, and tips and tricks from me at Make It Up with Samantha. Thanks for watching. Bye.